It's a couple of uh, police manuals, operational handbook and the crime scene management. It'll give Billy an overall view of what it's all about. Well, wow, that's going to sell it to him, isn't it? But he's not much of a reader. You try talking about car chases, beating people up. How you made a fortune through corruption. Ain't you got a car lot to run? Touch a nerve. Yeah, well, at least I'm trying to help. Yeah, what have you ever offered him? I'd give him a job selling motors any time. Oh, yeah, of course you would now. That's coming down to your level, going to boost his self-esteem. It's all about he likes motors, he likes fixing them up. It's about tapping into his talent, isn't it? You know, not forcing him down a road he don't want to go down. No one's forcing me to do anything. Yeah, see? Least of all you. Look, I know you're trying to help, but there's no way I'm becoming a fed. No Billy. way. Billy! Look, Mum, I'm not a hypocrite either. We all know that you hate the police more well, than I anyone. No, I don't. Yes, you do. And as for a second-hand car salesman, maybe when I'm 40, balding and got no ambition. Yeah, all right. But no offence, right? But I think I'd rather do something else. See you later, grown Hey, where are you going? How are you going to pay Jack back if you haven't got a job? Um, did you tell Lauren about the club? I mean, she can have it in the VIP room. Oh, yeah. Uncle of the year, yeah, we get it. Can arrange behind doors, birthday party, thank you very much. But she is coming, though, yeah? I mean, that's all I want to know. Make it happen. I've got to go. Said I'd, uh, you know, take care of Amy for the day. I'll speak to Billy tonight, yeah? Mm. I appreciate it, thanks. Nice family, innit? Got to support each other. Could you two just stop with the petty point scoring? Just this once? Because I'm the one with the problem here. Well, he's making things worse, Carol. And you just open your eyes. Why is Billy joining the police making things worse? Well, because that ain't going to happen, is it? It's Jack's fantasy, innit? It's not Billy's. I don't even know why you're listening to him. But because I'm desperate right now, all right? And Billy needs somebody to look up to, to respect. Right, and that's Jack over me, is it? Oh, after what happened with that Becca girl? Karen, that was a one-off. All right, well, I'm not condemning you, not after everything that's happened with Bradley. This, this ain't about Bradley, all right? I'm not trying to make amends, you know? I was just trying to help you out, Billy, for your sake. Well, then do it by letting Jack take the lead and you giving us all the support that we need. But we don't have to stay here. You know, if it feels a bit much... Mum said I should face things, that like people. She said it would help. Sorry, Trace, I know Phil don't like it, but can I have some change, please? I'm desperate. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Where are you going? To say hello. Why did I stop you mid-flow? You right, Stace? Are you all right? What are you doing in here? Well, that's what I keep wondering. It was my birthday on Monday. I'm meant to be out celebrating. Somebody had bought me an orange juice because I'm too young for a proper drink. Oh. Oh, thanks, Trace. Happy birthday. Jack said I could have a party in the club, but my dad said no. He reckons it's too soon. And although a part of me thinks he's right, there's another part that just wants to stop feeling guilty every time I even smile. Do you know what I mean? He's coming over. So, do you um, still have that black top? How much can I spend again? Well, it's more how much can I afford. You want those? All right. Uh, no, I haven't got that top. I sold it. But I've got new dresses and stuff you'll like. She's having a party, isn't she? No. No, I was just going to have a quiet family meal. Me, Lauren, Abby. It's going to be great, isn't it? Yeah. Just thought we should keep things a bit more low-key, that's all. Why, because of Bradley? Then you're all idiots, because he'd have wanted you to enjoy yourselves. Do you think? Yeah, of course he would have. But you're having a party and that's the end of it. Bradley insists. Go and pick yourself an outfit. Yeah, come on, not too expensive. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it was nicely worked. Mm, I shouldn't have had to. Yeah, well, no, I know, I just wanted a quiet night, you know, so many girls. Max, she's 16, it isn't about what you want. Yeah. <laughs>